Welcome to Brainwaves, your go-to source for everything interesting and informative. Our video today is all about the most expensive stamps in the world. Collecting stamps is a popular hobby for countless individuals around the world. However, some rare and unique stamps are highly sought after by collectors and can fetch millions of dollars at auction. These stamps are not only rare but also have a significant historical value, making them valuable and sought after collectors' items. So, let's dive into the world of stamps as we discover and explore the top 5 most expensive stamps in the world. The British Guiana 1C Magenta is considered a philatelic gem, one that is highly sought after by collectors across the globe. The stamp was originally part of a series of stamps issued by British Guiana, a former British colony located on the northern coast of South America. The stamps were first issued in 1850 and were distinctive for their circular shape. It was believed that this shape would prevent counterfeiting of the stamps. However, the circular design was abandoned in 1856 in favor of the more traditional rectangular shape. This made the first series of circular stamps, which included the British Guiana 1C Magenta, even more rare and valuable. It is believed that only one copy of the British Guiana 1C Magenta exists today, and its rarity and historical significance have made it one of the most expensive stamps in the world. The discovery and history of the British Guiana 1C Magenta are almost as fascinating as the stamp itself. It was discovered by a young collector named L. Vernon Vaughan in 1873 when he was just 12 years old. Vaughan found a small collection of stamps in a relative's attic in British Guiana and took it to a local stamp dealer to sell. The dealer recognized the rarity and significance of the British Guiana 1C Magenta and purchased it for a small amount only to resell it for a much larger sum soon after. The stamp changed hands several times over the years, with some of its owners being aristocrats and famous industrialists. Today, it is owned by shoe designer Stuart Weitzman, who paid $9.5 million for the stamp in 2014 and has made it available for public view in various exhibitions around the world, making it one of the most famous and recognizable stamps in the world. Several factors contribute to the high value of the British Guiana 1C Magenta and make it a rare and unique item. One of the main factors is its rarity. As the only known surviving copy of this stamp in the world, it is in high demand among collectors. Another factor is its historical significance. British Guiana was an important British colony, and this stamp is a tangible link to a bygone era. Moreover, the stamp's long and fascinating history, from its creation to its rediscovery and sale at auctions, has added to its allure, making it a valuable and cherished collector's item. Finally, the condition of the stamp is also taken into consideration when determining its value. The British Guiana 1C Magenta is in excellent condition, making it even more valuable and sought after. All these factors and many more contribute to the high value of this stamp, and it remains a true collector's item, even today. The Treskilling Yellow Stamp is one of the most famous and valuable stamps in the world. Originally printed in Sweden in 1855, the stamp has a rich historical background. It was issued during a time of political upheaval and economic uncertainty in Sweden, and it was designed to raise funds for the country's war effort. The stamp was printed in a yellow-orange color, but due to an error, some of the stamps came out printed in a distinct yellow color, making them rare and highly valued. The error occurred because the printer mistakenly used yellow paper stock instead of the correct white paper stock and then applied the wrong ink color. This mistake and the subsequent rarity of the yellow stamps have made the Treskilling yellow stamp a highly coveted collector's item. The Treskilling yellow stamp has had a fascinating journey, with its discovery and ownership spanning over a hundred years. In 1886, a young Swedish boy by the name of Georg Wilhelm Bachmann discovered the stamp when going through his grandmother's old letters. Bachmann initially tried to sell the stamp to a local dealer, but the dealer was skeptical of its authenticity and refused it. The stamp remained with Bachmann for many years and changed hands several times over the years, eventually being purchased by a Swiss dealer named Philip von Ferreri in 1894. Von Ferreri was a famous stamp collector and owned one of the most extensive stamp collections in the world, but he was also a recluse who shied away from the public eye. After his death in 1917, the Treskilling yellow stamp, along with the rest of his collection, was auctioned off for a fortune. 
Today, the Treskilling Yellow Stamp is considered one of the most valuable stamps in the world, with a price tag of around $3 million. Several factors contribute to the high value and rarity of the Treskilling Yellow Stamp. Firstly, its error in production which resulted in some stamps printed on yellow paper rather than the intended white paper made it a limited edition collector's item. In addition to its rarity, the stamp is also significant for its historical background and the role it played during Sweden's war efforts. Furthermore, its ownership history adds a layer of mystique and intrigue to its story, especially with the Treskilling yellow stamp being a part of Philip von Ferrari's illustrious stamp collection. Finally, the excellent condition of the stamp is another significant factor in its high value. The Treskilling yellow stamp has always been well preserved and cared for, contributing to its mint condition even now, more than a century and a half after its creation. All of these unique factors make the Treskilling yellow stamp a true treasure and a standout collector's item. The inverted Jenny is one of the most iconic stamps in the world and is famous for its unique and quirky design. The stamp was first issued in 1918 in the United States to commemorate the introduction of airmail service. The stamp featured an image of the biplane Curtis JN-4, also known as the Jenny, which was used in airmail service. However, due to an error during printing, a small number of the stamps were printed with the image upside down, making them quite rare and valuable. Despite the fact that the stamp was produced relatively recently, the inverted Jenny has become one of the most sought-after and valuable stamps in the world, with some examples selling for over a million dollars. The inverted Jenny stamp is thus famed for its unique design, its role in American postal history, and of course, its rarity. The discovery and ownership of the inverted Jenny stamp are just as interesting as the stamp itself. One of the most famous examples of the inverted Jenny was discovered by collector William T. Roby in 1918, just a day after the stamps were first issued. Roby noticed that the stamps he purchased at the post office had the Jenny airplane upside down, and he quickly realized that he had something quite rare and special in his hands. Roby subsequently sold the inverted Jenny stamp for a significant profit, and it changed hands several times over the years, with some of its owners being well-known collectors and philatelists. Today, the stamp is worth millions of dollars, and it is regarded as one of the most valuable stamps in the world. The inverted Jenny stamp has also been the subject of several heists and controversies over the years, making it not only valuable but also infamous. Several factors contribute to the value of the inverted Jenny stamp. Firstly, its unique and quirky design, which features an upside-down airplane, has made it a highly sought-after collector's item. Moreover, since only a limited number of inverted Jenny stamps were produced due to a printing error, they are quite rare and valuable. The fact that the stamp was produced during a relatively short period also adds to its rarity and value. Additionally, the inverted Jenny stamp has a significant place in American postal history, as it was issued to commemorate the introduction of airmail service, adding to its cultural value. Finally, the condition of the stamp is also taken into account when determining its value. The inverted Jenny stamps that have survived in excellent condition are highly prized by collectors and can fetch prices in the millions of dollars. All of these unique factors contribute to the value of the inverted Jenny stamp and make it a true cultural and historical treasure. The Baden 9 Kreutzer stamp has a rich and fascinating historical background. The stamp was first introduced in 1851 by the Grand Duchy of Baden, a German state that was part of the Holy Roman Empire. The stamp was intended to be used for local postage within the state. The Baden 9 Kreutzer stamp was printed with a beautiful and intricate design that featured the coat of arms of Baden, making it a valuable piece of cultural and historical heritage. The coat of arms design remained unchanged over the years, but in 1853, the value of the stamp was reduced to 6 Kreutzer. Today, the Baden 9 Kreutzer stamp is regarded as one of the most valuable and sought-after stamps in the world, with an estimated value of over $1.4 million. The Baden 9 Kreutzer stamp was produced using a lithographic printing process, which involved printing from a flat surface using oil-based inks. The stamp was originally designed to be printed on rose-colored paper, but due to a printing error, a small number of stamps were printed on green-colored paper. This error resulted in the Baden 9 Kreutzer error stamp, 
which became one of the most valuable stamps in the world. The reason for the error is not entirely clear, but it is believed that the printer may have simply used the wrong type of paper stock. The error was discovered soon after printing, and the green stamps were withdrawn from circulation, making them incredibly rare and highly prized by collectors. The Baden 9 Kreutzer error stamp thus remains a coveted piece of postage history, known for its rarity, beauty, and unique production process. Several factors contribute to the high value of the Baden 9 Kreutzer error stamp. Firstly, its rarity makes it a coveted item among collectors, with only a handful of genuine Baden 9 Kreutzer error stamps surviving today. Additionally, the stamp's unique production process and the story behind the printing error make it a piece of cultural and historical significance, further enhancing its value. The fact that the Baden 9 Kreutzer error stamp was only in circulation for a short period before being recalled also adds to its rarity and value. Finally, the condition of the stamp also plays a significant role in determining its value, with well-preserved specimens fetching the highest prices at auction. All of these factors make the Baden 9 Kreutzer error stamp one of the most valuable stamps in the world, with an estimated value of over $1.4 million. The Basel Dove stamp is one of the most iconic and highly regarded stamps in the world. The stamp was first issued in 1845 in Basel, Switzerland, and was the first stamp issued by a canton in Switzerland. The Basel Dove stamp was issued to be used for local postage, and it features a beautiful and intricate design that depicts a dove holding a letter in its beak, flying over a view of Basel. The design was created by the Basel-based architect Melchior Berry, who was commissioned to design the stamp by the local postmaster. The Basel Dove stamp is known for its beauty and unique design, and has become a symbol of Swiss postal history. Today, the Basel Dove stamp is a rare and highly prized item among collectors, and is regarded as one of the most valuable stamps in the world, with an estimated value of $55,000. The Basel Dove stamp was produced using the intaglio printing process, which involves engraving a design into a metal plate and then printing from that plate. The stamp was produced in multiple colors, with the most common color being black on a yellow background. The design of the Basel Dove stamp is known for its intricacy and attention to detail, with the dove depicted in flight holding a letter in its beak over a view of Basel's architectural landscape. The stamp was produced in sheets of 200 stamps, with each sheet divided into four panes of 50 stamps. The Basel Dove stamp has a unique design and production process, which has contributed to its cultural and historical significance. In addition to being a valuable piece of Swiss postal history, the Basel Dove stamp is also a work of art and design. Several factors contribute to the value of the Basel Dove stamp. Firstly, its rarity makes it a highly sought-after item among collectors. The Basel Dove stamp was only issued for a short period in 1845 and was only used for local postage, making it a rare item to come across. Additionally, the unique and beautiful design of the stamp adds to its value, as does the fact that it was the first stamp to be issued by a Swiss canton. The design and production process of the Basel Dove stamp also contribute to its cultural and historical significance, making it a valuable piece of artwork and design. Finally, the condition of the stamp is also an important factor in determining its value, with well-preserved specimens fetching the highest prices at auction. All of these factors combine to make the Basel Dove stamp a highly prized item among collectors, with an estimated value of $55,000. And that concludes our tour of the most expensive stamps in the world. From the British Guiana 1C Magenta to the Basel Dove, these stamps are much more than just pieces of paper. They are historical artifacts with stories to tell and secrets to reveal. Collectors are willing to pay exorbitant amounts to own these rare stamps and add them to their collections. Who knows what interesting gems you might come across while browsing your own stamp collection or exploring an antique shop. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to subscribe to Brainwaves for more informative content.